Hey there, and welcome to another episode of Tips and Tech Talk. I am your host, Ron, and today I want to talk about the DJI event, See the Bigger Picture. You've heard me talk about it before. In fact, it was slated for July 18th, but about 10 days before that, it was postponed without a date being released for the makeup date. This has left a lot of drone enthusiasts to do nothing but speculate and just wait. What is DJI up to? Well, I think I have an idea, and I think it's either one of two things. As you know, DJI has a history of crushing their competition through swift marketing and, and, and release dates. For example, the GoPro, when they released their Karma a week beforehand, DJI out of nowhere released the Mavic. And even to this day, the Mavic Pro is one of the most popular drones on the market. But they did that and essentially put GoPro drone business out of business. Um, and GoPro has been on the decline since then. The announcement of the postponement was made just days after the Autel Evo started trickling down to some of the people who pre-ordered the drone, so people were getting the Evo in their hands. And almost like the next day or two days later, DJI postponed their event. So like I said, I think it could be one of two things. Either one, they are going to put a one-inch sensor on this Mavic and pretty much make it the same camera that you're finding on the Phantom 4 Pro. That's an extreme possibility because if you have a one inch sensor, and I still don't know how you're gonna put a one inch sensor on that small of a footprint drone, but nevertheless, I think they're putting a one inch sensor on the Mavic. So the Mavic Pro 2, I think, or the Mavic 2, will probably have a one inch sensor, essentially crushing the Evo because it's probably gonna be about the same price. Scenario number two is that they saw what the Evo had to offer and they just said, you know what? Our Mavic Pro is still better than that. We don't need to release anything. And they're waiting to see uh, who else is going to release a drone coming down the line. I think it's one of those two possibilities. I think uh, the postponement date was so close that there was YouTubers who probably had the Mavic 2 in their hand, so they had to be recalled. So, um, like I said, the only explanation that I can think of is maybe they had a smaller sensor on that Mavic. They recalled them to get maybe a one-inch sensor so they could crush the Evo and also put a dent into the the unique typhoon uh, h that just came out but dji they're very slick and they know what they're doing so um it's only a matter of time before we get this release date and uh, i think the consensus is that it is in fact going to be a mavic pro 2 or a mavic 2 i think that's the drone that's going to be released by dji but i do think that it might be a little bit different than what people anticipate. So it's going to be interesting to see what is on this DJI Mavic Pro 2 or Mavic 2. Uh, only time will tell. But I will say this, the longer uh, DJI waits to make an announcement on a new date, that's still bad for them because it's still bad for them to get that much anticipation, have that much hype. Uh, I mean, a lot of drone uh, enthusiasts are really frothing at the mouth to see what DJI is going to release. So that's just my opinion. It's going to be one of those two things. It's either you're going to see a bigger sensor on the Mavic 2 when it's released, or uh, DJI felt like, well, we don't really have to release a drone because the Evo isn't really better than the Mavic Pro, which is out now. So that's a possibility. In the meantime, stay tuned. I say it between DJI and Autel and some of these other drone companies, it is like a soap opera. So stay tuned and I will bring you the latest in drone news. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please share it with all your friends. Hit that like icon. You can also see more of my videos on my YouTube channel. Head on over there and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that bell icon to make sure you're notified when I make future videos. And of course, you can see more of my work at my website at ronrobinsonstudios.com. We'll see you next time for another episode of Tips and Tech Talk. Thanks for watching.